Great day, everyone. I pray that this finds you well. I'm Brother Andre from Holiness Tabernacle Men's Department here with another word for the month. As we continue our dive on Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8, today I'm reading verse 2, and it reads, A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. The thought for today is plant and wait. You know, I am often reminded of the necessity to keep things planted, to make sure that you are planting when it is time to plant. I'm also reminded uh, of a time, and this might not be fair, but my younger brother was an avid lover of grapes, grapes of all kinds. And when he was younger, we planted a grapevine at our home. And needless to say, the grapevine got dug up a couple times and never actually flourished to anything because there wasn't a sense of waiting or a sense of patience. When it was planted, it was like, oh, hopefully the grapes will be there tomorrow, right? And then it would be always checking. Oh, well, we need to go dig it up so we can check a little bit further. Sometimes in the opportunity that we have to plant, we are impatient when it comes to getting that harvest. And the challenge there is if without the patience, if without the time for whatever that was planted to germinate in the ground, to really do all those things that are needed to grow, we never really get the harvest that we're expecting or hoping to look for. The beautiful thing about God is when we plant in good ground, it is bound to sprout up and do plentiful above and beyond what we even imagined. My challenge for you is simple. Take the time after you've planted to wait on God to move and continue to grow in those areas. And while you're doing that waiting, do other things that you know you can be doing in preparation for when the harvest is ready. As believers, we know that the harvest is truly plenteous even now, but the laborers are few. So for us, there's a little bit of a different standard. Get out there and give some hope to somebody. Tell them about Jesus Christ. And for those other things that you've planted and you're waiting for, continue to do what God has told you and purposed you for this day and make that difference. All right, family, that's it for this edition of Words of the Month. Tune in next month. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe so that you always know when the Word of the Month is here and know that we love you. God loves you even more. 